You guys are just kind of running around. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really... <laughs> Now I'm now I'm not so happy. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. How do you know you're safe, man? Because it, it's sky dog. Okay. Sky dog. Oh, and yeah. can they cover this angle? <laughs> can they cover the deep angle on B? Yeah. Oh. And then wow. Pull, pull back, pull back. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Hang on. Hey, what is that? I think that's the script on the ground over there. What is that? You're gonna trust your sky? You're gonna trust Bill from accounting to clear up B site for you while you TP in? Man, that's ballsy. Let me see. Good pick. Dude. Chill, oh, yeah. chill, chill. Just chilling your smoke right now. Just, you're good. Chill. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> dude. Where are they coming from? What is this? Put it away. Put Jabba back in his hut, man. Dude. Dude! They could be in B! They could be right in front of you! Yes, they are! Dude! Do you want free coaching? Well, now you can. My coaching is absolutely free at my Discord. Here you'll find an inclusive community full of awesome people wanting to improve just like you. Simply join, submit a VOD following our submission guidelines, and voila, you're in the queue. But how am I making this possible? Well, that's thanks to the generous Patreon supporters just like you. Tier 3 Patreon supporters get access to exclusive 10 mans, pro VOD reviews, and a private draw for coaching on top of increased odds for the main draw of coaching. What are you waiting for? Join up today. I can already tell you have a tendency yeah. to take fights that aren't necessary. The first one is fine because you're spawning. The second one is greed. You're looking for the next fight. And this could lead to a problem right away because you've already shot shots from here. So they know that you're shooting from that angle. So you just repeat the same angle twice, basically. And I know the smoke is there, but that's not going to stop a gold player from shooting through the smoke. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm going to flank that. Especially considering the camera saw you. <laughs> and they see you on the map already. You get a yeah. dopamine kick when you hit a six shot. You're like, yeah, I look cool. So let me flick out my knife. And while you're doing that, you put yourself in front of the cypher whose camera was right there. And we very well know that this is a whole threat. So you're not ready to shoot back and catch you right now here's what i want you to start doing to start breaking this habit play deathmatch first of all and when you get a kill i want you to move backwards as opposed to move forward when you move backwards it's going to give you a half a second more to think about what you're doing next because you don't have to keep moving forward a lot of people get this kill and like oh where's my next one where's my next one i want my tiktok clip slow down <laughs> breathe oh no Oh no, no, man. Please. No smoke's lung and I'm peeking garage. Just, just why? It's 3v2. Um, You're thinking, oh, where's my next frag, man? I'm telling you, it's <laughs> killing you. It's two in garage, two in garage. I left. Here's the other play you could have made, Zach. You decided to take a 50 50 here. What if you went long two grudge, two grudge. and you just literally sat against this wall? Do you think they're going to come through and clear you here in gold? Probably not. not at all. They're both going to put their back to you and you can one tap both of them. And then you got your TikTok clip. And people will say, wow, that Zach guy is really smart with his positioning. He had an opportunity, but he decided to take the easier way and guarantee the round win for his team. That Zach guy, he's a winner. Hey, that was a nice ass shot, I'm not gonna lie. If you move forward after this kill, I'm literally going to rage quit this VOD reveal. Thank what? you. Let's go, give him a round of applause, Shaq. Uh, you know what? That took a lot of courage, man. That took a lot yep. of courage. This spot is all danger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all danger. Already there, I committed way too much. You did mm. need to do this. You've already lost garage at this point. You just fall back. You decided to go forward, and that's fine as long as you got someone who could support you, maybe flash in for you, something. As soon as I see this, I back off. There's no need for me to do anything more for a few reasons. I have no idea what's going on for the rest of it. There could be more people here. And the other reason is it's a 5v4. So I need to shut my mind off of, ooh, here's my next frag, and let me cat protocol onto this. There's the laser here. I'm a cat, and I'm chasing after that laser. Let go of the laser. Fall back. Mm. Play your numbers 5v4. We win in 1 minute and 25 seconds. Where I would play here instead of this is I'd play back in this position. I'd be spotting I'm here. Them. If they come through, I have information they're coming through. Someone else can help crossfire with me. There's, they're all little choke points that they run through. So why go in there and give them a 50-50 when yeah. you're going to take a 70-30 on a choke point? You make the game harder for yourself when you do that kind of stuff. So if they decide to go this way, I go in and support over here. And then and my B my player other picks up there. Yeah. That game I remember, she was doing pretty good, actually. On one. Let's think about this logically, because you're doing this just because. You're not thinking about what you're doing, you're just doing it. Why the smoke? Uh, to protect heaven from long. Okay. Because I that one. Heaven. Why that this one? smoke? For my player on the side, but he got shot. What actually happened, and Zach, I'm sorry to call you out on this, but you did this because you've done it before. 
That's what happened. Okay. It wasn't me setting up for someone on site or anything. She, she just jumped down, right? She just jumped down. So you were throwing this before that even happened. Uh, on site one. You threw this because. Because is not a reason. I want you to think about where we could place this to be able to help enable you get on the site a little bit better for a retake. Because if you just throw these out here and you're trying to retake, what does it do for you? What does this and what does this do for you? Think about it. You run out in here. I'll How many angles much. can shoot you in the face, right? Way too many. Yeah, everywhere. So <laughs> this smoke here gets you no value besides potentially helping your raise. But you're basically saying to raise, okay, smoke's here, you can now jump into a million angles. <laughs> so even that's not really helping too much. I'll give you the long smoke, but the second smoke doesn't make sense to me at all. Because now you're facing all these threats. So where could you put this smoke in difference to be able to give yourself a chance to get on the site a little bit easier? Um, si uh, side of... Uh side of sight like the um, uh the ledge yeah right there you like here yeah you're throwing a smoke here what's your pathing going to be this similar to that one yeah perfect the reason being is that you have a sheriff you want to get as close range to this fight as possible what about this play i have time to that's damn okay what do you got right now I'm... you have two tps why <laughs> at that time when i played that game nothing because i wasn't even thinking of TPing. Right, because a lot of the utility that you're throwing right now, just like the way that you're peeking, is already autopilot. It's just something that you're doing. You're driving to work mindlessly, right? You ever driven to work and you're just like, how the hell did I end up here? It's just like you fell asleep yeah. at the wheel. Same thing here. You need to mindfully think about decisions uh, you're making. So once this smoke goes away, your chances of getting through here are gone. Because you have nothing to path uh -huh. up on. In fact, you've even cut off the pathway for Sky to flank on on both of these. So if anything, you're actually making it worse for your team as well. You didn't right? see Sky there. Yeah, because you weren't looking. <laughs> you're too fixated here, right? So now the smoke goes away. Now technically there's a threat to your left, there's a threat in front of you. Once you go out, there's a threat all over the place. You got nothing to be able to cover you to be able to move on to site right now. So you're just making your life that much more difficult. What? Here's what I like to do when I'm retaking. I'm always thinking about the situation I'm in. The only chance I'm gonna have with a sheriff is if I get close range. Right? Because if I'm close range, I'm going to be able to one-tap them. So instead of throwing this smoke here, I throw it here. And the, what I will do then is if I had the TP, I could make that TP play and then get really ugly with it and fight them. Or I could path this way, fight this angle to clear it out. Then I fight over here, clear this angle out. I wrap around, fight anything that's over here. I can then spot long, fight this angle, because it's now a medium range angle. It's a little bit more winnable. And then finally, I clear out hell while wrapping over and then clearing out this angle. Now I got them all so what I'm understanding from this is basically taking one thing at a time and really taking your time clearing all of sight. You don't necessarily have to take your time because it's all depending on the situation. How long has the mom been down for, right? How much time do you have to spend doing this? At the end of the day, you're in a losing scenario because you're on eco. So what risk do you have in making a play like this TP one right now and having someone being in there? Zero. You're supposed to lose anyway. In fact, if this chat ends up going in here and she tell I teleport on top of her, that's actually a bad play on her part. She shouldn't be doing that at all. So if she ends up missing, I end up getting a kill and getting a vandal of this. All of a sudden, this round is now in my favor. So I don't mind her being in here, right? I don't mind throwing the smoke and instantly TPing into it and seeing what happens. If she catches me and sprays through it, she catches me. At the end of the day, once again, I'm in a losing scenario. They're in a full buy. I'm in an eco round. There's no risk of me making a play like this. Okay. Right? You were about to throw a smoke on the entrance way. It was already too late at that point. What I would have done, because I'm anchor, is I'm trying to live on the site as long as I possibly can. So if we're going back here and they've taken C, where do you think I can throw a smoke to protect myself? Because I know there's an alt coming in and this alt. You can throw it right here if you wanted to. You can throw it right here if you want and just play inside of it. Nothing wrong with that. Right? Just immediately throw it on top of yourself and then just live a little bit longer so that your team has time to rotate as I'm calling out, they're coming C. They cannot plant the bomb while I'm still live on site, right? If they yeah. do, then they run the risk of me killing a multi-frag, right? So just toss it on, the, on my feet because I know it's already too late at this point. But you went to go and throw this here. And obviously you got disabled, right? But your plan was to throw it there. If you had thrown it there, they would have ran right through anyway. Oh my God. Now, there's another lesson to be learned here. Remember, thinking is important at all times, right? <laughs> and the easiest time to think is in buy phase. So this protocol here, positioning inventory, five seconds remaining into the round after I've got everything kind of like planned out and visualized, I immediately look to my minimap and I see what spots are open on the map. 
so I know what to expect or at least give someone a communication to say something is open. So if we look across here, what do we need to worry about on this map so far? Long, because no one's there, first of all. Garage? Garage. Let's remember that those are our two threats. And then let's say, hey, you know what? Garage is open. I get someone covering garage. Yeah. On B. B. There are two B now. Okay, mm too close. I like the idea, but too close, because now they can hear this alt. So now there's no threat of where you could be, because they know your garage. Right? If they're in B, they hear this. Had you TP'd right. like here and you started flanking, then they're constantly worried about the flank. If you had TP'd right here, they don't hear it and they're worried about your flank the entire time, which makes it easier for your team to move up. So you're here, you could have literally just did this and still get the value of people worried about you flanking them. So there's lots of money left. Oh god, man. This is gold, dude. This is gold, okay? It's this is no, just no, man. No, this, 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 no, it's gotta keep the game simple, man. When you're in iron to gold, everything goes. A smoke is thrown, someone goes, oh, I think I can play you inside the smoke. Even though they're not supposed to. Ahead. I think we lost this one. There they are. I'm not too sure. Hi, what is he doing? What know. is he doing? <laughs> no. no, he was off the bomb. <laughs> Zach, do you see what I'm saying, right? Yeah, he did not have to do that. And I, I told myself he, that at that moment, gonna, too. I was like, the only way this KO wins is if you do this. Uh, yeah, you see my reaction? I knew it. I knew he was going to do it, too. Man, this rank is f***ing wild.